video will review the flow watch functions of IQ and the LX controller. I'm going to start by going to a uh, uh, existing satellite. So I'm going to select configure under satellites and I'm going to go to um, from configure I'm going to go to um, uh, sensors. And you'll see there's two tabs here. I want to go to the flow sensor tab. First thing I'm going to do is set up the flow sensor that's uh, connected to my satellite controller. And I have the um, um, FS100B, so it's a one inch brass T flow sensor. If you're using the Rainbird flow sensors, you just pick the model number off the list. It does all of the K factor and offsets in the background, so you don't have to uh, do that. If you are using an insert style sensor, you will need to put in the inside pipe diameter. I'm going to hit OK. I am going to um, now go to the flow watch tab and I'm going to enable flow watch. That's the flow sensing functions uh, of the controller. And below here are, are the default configurations for SEEF, which is seek and eliminate excessive flow, and SELF, which is seek and eliminate low flow. Let's take a look at each of the uh, parameters. First one is high flow threshold. Default is 130% of the nominal flow rate for a station. So if we had a uh, 10 gallon per minute station, the uh, reaction point for high flow would be 30% higher than that or 13 gallons. Second parameter is uh, high flow settling time. Settling time is how long do you want to see the, high, the flow over the high flow threshold in order to react. And the default is 3 minutes. This 130% at 3 minutes is a pretty standard uh, setting and would work well for, both, for most systems. Uh, next thing down is action if uh, CEF is detected. So if we see 130% higher than expected flow rate for at least 3 minutes, uh, do the following. The default is diagnose and eliminate the problem. So what IQ will do will be to pause, basically shut off the stations that are currently running. It's going to close the master valve. It's going to wait a little bit. It's going to turn the master valve back on, look at the flow sensor, and if that we don't have a stuck valve, uh, valve that's stuck open, or a mainline break, the flow should be zero. If it does see flow, we do have a stuck valve or a mainline break, and we'll need to reclose the master valve and issue a uh, an alarm as a mainline break alarm. If, on the other hand, when we shut off the valves, turn the master valve back on, and we see no flow, uh, the system is going to assume that the high flow was downstream of one of the valves that was previously running. So IQ, uh, the controller, will turn on each of those valves one at a time till it finds the uh, the station with the high flow. It will shut off that station, quarantine it, and then run the rest of the program. You'll see similar settings for self. Again, a, the low flow threshold, the flow uh, percentage below the learn flow or the uh, uh, normal flow rate that you want to react to. Default is 70% or 30% below uh, the nominal flow. Same settling, three minute settling time, and diagnose and eliminate the problem. Uh, we do have one more setting here which is a timed re-enable delay. This allows you to have the system automatically reset itself after a certain number of hours or minutes. Um, Typically for IQ, we're going to keep this off. We don't want it to re-enable. Uh, you're going to get an alarm. You're going to fix the problem and then uh, re-enable the system by clearing the alarm. Uh, one other thing to, sh to point out here is under the master valves setting, there's a button for edit um, master valve. Here we have the opportunity if you have uh, quick coupling valves or manual watering taking place off of the main line of your irrigation system, we can put in a, a uh, additional flow rate to allow um, for that use. We can put in um, uh, different times of the uh, day or evening for it to allow that uh, manual watering. So if maintenance 
uh, people are on site from say uh, 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. Um, on uh, Monday through Friday. I'm going to tell it to open up master valve 1 on this controller at 8 a.m. allow 20 gallons per minute during these hours and then close the master valve at 4 p.m. Okay. Last thing we want to do is go to the manual operations tab. I'm going to connect to this controller and um, once connected uh, we're going to uh, initiate the learn flow utility. We do that by going to the change settings button. We're going to select learn flow from the menu. It's going to default to um, selecting all stations that have runtime on them and optionally so we can start learn flow right now or optionally we can delay this learn flow until a user-defined time say in the evening when you'd normally run once we start the learn flow the uh, it will go through learn the flow rate of each station individually record that IQ will then automatically call back to the satellite at the end of the test retrieve all the station flow rates and put those into the uh, configuration for the satellite automatically for you